All right, today we're going to pull this head off this uh, 2000 Honda uh, Civic LX. See what's going on with that uh, number two cylinder. So come along, I'll try to film as much as I can. Just going to disconnect the negative battery cable. We'll pull the spark plugs and wires out. There's no particular order in doing this stuff. But uh, you just got to get everything off. Up to you if you want to label them. I mean, it's hard to put them in wrong. These are already labeled. And we'll pull this air box tube out of here. And we'll pull the spark plugs out. Guess I could have done that before the air box. Uh, to get the spark plugs out, gear wrench, 5 eighths, looking for a part number, I don't see one. Uh, oh, there it is. 30546, I think. Magnetic. So, and it's connected, so we'll just use this. And if you want, it's not a bad idea to label them. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Starting from the belt side. And I'll take the rest out just like that. Alright, I put the vehicle up on jack stands. I'm going to have to get up under there in a little bit. Um, and we're going to put this number one cylinder at top dead center. We're going to use the old uh, balloon trick. And we just got a 17 millimeter socket right on the end of the bolt there. We're just going to turn it. Make sure you turn it the same way the engine does, counterclockwise facing this direction counterclockwise always we're going to turn it that way we're going to watch for the balloon to fill up then we know we're on the compression stroke There we go. Did you see it? Balloon filled up. I'm just using my leak down hose. It doesn't have a Schrader valve in there so you can do this trick. Alright, just going to put a long screwdriver right there. And watch it come all the way up.
that's about it. We should be very close to number one top dead center. It's hard to get a shot, but there you can see we're right on. You can see I used a chisel just to mark the position of the distributor so we can put it back, keep the timing on. And while I'm taking off the distributor, I'm going to put a drain pan under there, start draining the coolant. there. And to help it along, we'll pop the cap. Now I'm going to take the three bolts off this distributor. Well, I'm thinking of it. You can also tell you're on top dead center and number one when your rotor's right there. That plug wanted to be a pain, so I just took the screw off of the bracket there. All right, up next, we're going to uh, loosen the uh, power steering pump here, take off the belt, and then we'll take the whole unit off. We'll move it out of the side, or off to the side, so it's out of our way. You just have to loosen this nut right here, this one right here. That way we can move it and take the belt off and we can get the whole thing off and then we'll take this bracket that reaches down under here we'll take that off and I think I'll take this ground strap off this 10 millimeter here just to get it out of my way Drop the bolt, son of a magnets. You sure come in handy.
We'll lose the washer. I'm thinking of it. We'll take this out. Alright, up next I'm going to get this bracket out of the way by getting that bolt, that bolt, and this one right here. Get those three and pull this thing off. suckers can be on there tight it helps to have a longer ratchet Before you uh, loosen or take off the belt, make note of the direction, just in case you reuse it. You can see the lettering right there, it's to the outside, looks like it's supposed to be. This one on the, if you can see, but the lettering's to the inside, yeah, I, I prefer to put them to the outside so it's standardized, so you can read them from the outside. In any event, just make sure to know which direction it's going. Alright, we'll take, next we'll, uh, Loosen these two fasteners that hold this uh, exhaust shield down. You can see I sprayed them down with penetrating oil. We'll see if it helps. 12 millimeter. Ah, loose. That's always nice. I should mention this engine is stone cold. I'm thinking of it. You're doing a big job like this. I would get a light that's plugged in. Um, battery powered ones are awesome, but they they're gonna go out when you're um, working this long underneath the hood. So just something I do. Next, we'll uh, we'll pop this out. We'll unplug the uh, oxygen sensor so that we can get this shield up around it. Try to leave this oxygen sensor alone because you start messing around with these and you'll end up having to buy a new one. Try not to. You can see our exhaust manifold has a crack in it, but we'll leave that for another day. Um, for right now, we'll make a mess first. We'll go ahead and uh, crack this loose. Drain some of this uh, coolant from up here. 
Shouldn't be too much seen as we already drained it, but we'll pull this hose off. Come on. All right, good. I don't have anything in there. And I'm actually going to replace this hose, so I'm going to take the whole thing off. Here we can unplug some stuff. Next, we'll take some of this stuff off. Pop this on. careful with your cable. All right, now we'll take all these uh, exhaust manifold fasteners off. Um, as with any manifold type gasket, to take it off, we're gonna start on the outside and work our way in, all right, in a crisscross pattern, like that. And then when we bolt it back on, we're gonna start from the middle and work our way back out. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, look around for, you know, in a, a bracket down here maybe. This one is doesn't have it. I don't know whether they took it off or never had it to begin with, but there's no bracket there.
Alright, I just put a little penetrating oil on there to help it out. Right, as you see, it moves now, came right off, uh, and you can see the metal gasket right there. But uh, there should be a bracket holding the exhaust down below. We'll go knock that loose in a minute, and uh, that should allow us to pull it off when we need to. I like to bag and tag my stuff if, if I can't put the fastener back where it belongs. Alright, we'll just come under the front of the vehicle. Follow the exhaust back and then see those two rusty bolts right there or nuts we're gonna take those off that should allow us a little bit of play in the exhaust so we can pull that exhaust manifold off I already sprayed them with penetrating oil You can try popping that off, but there's a good chance you'll break it. Let's go ahead and get this valve cover gasket off. Or valve cover off. That one wasn't even tight. Now we know why it wasn't tight, broken off.
Alright, so as you saw, the short ones go in the front, the long ones go in the back. You can see some genius used RTV sealant all the way around here. Don't be an idiot like that and do that. The only place Hondas need it, a little bit of gray RTV or Honda Bond right here in this corner, right here in that corner, that corner, sorry, right there. Same thing over here, right in that corner, right in this corner, that's it. You need to fill the whole thing up. Now i got to clean all this. All right, we'll pull the upper uh, timing cover off. We're going to grab that bolt right there. And if you can see it, this one right there. Now, the correct procedure would be to take uh, the lower timing cover off and um, take the timing belt off. I'm not doing that, but that is the correct way. You can see what it looks like there. Broken off, damaged. I found what they did. That's what came out right there. They put a little insert in there and it broke off. Piece that broke off in there. Alright, now we'll take the uh, intake manifold bolts off. We should have, let's see, one, two, three, four down in there are hidden. Five, six, seven. That should be all of them right there. Gotta knock those loose.
click play in operation. So you what having a wrench that can bend, quarter inch like this, especially a longer one, invaluable. I just zip tied that belt back so it won't go anywhere. Now I have to do work on the head so I'm going to be pulling the valve train off. If you don't have to do a valve job or work on the head, leave the valve train in place. You can skip this one part. Alright, I'm going to loosen up these uh, bolts here. Maybe. This is what Honda recommends. We're just loosening all the valve adjustment nuts. Very important these bolts are taken off in the proper sequence. So these these four tens out here are gonna go one, two, three, four. And then five, six, seven, eight. And nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
my battery died and I didn't realize it so I don't know how much I missed but um, I loosened up all the valve train bolts right here because I'm taking this valve train off and doing work on the head um, just do them in the proper order so these two tens it's going to be one two and then three and then four and on the twelves here it's going to be five six seven eight and then nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen just like that and I did it in two stages cracked them loose barely and then loosened them up a little bit more and then I loosened them up all the way and as you noticed I did not take the bolts out I'm leaving them in otherwise your valve train will fall all apart you leave the bolts in everything will stay together You can see that they're flared to the outside. Like that. So it should, the flare will be to the outside. Alright, here's our cheat sheet for pulling these uh, head bolts out. We start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the middle. One third of a, about one third of a turn, then go to the next one. Do them all, then go back in the same same procedure and do one third again until you get them all loose don't just start in one right here and just go like this you can tweak the head do it again and we'll do a second set
and we'll do it again. Now they should all be loose. We're going to reuse these head bolts. Um, Honda doesn't say that you have to uh, replace your head bolts. I know some vehicles you do, but on most Hondas you don't have to. But it's a good idea to keep them in the same order. We're just going to put them in cardboard so we can keep them in the same spot. with the washer too. Alright, we'll take a look over here. We got this cover. You can see they bonded the hell out of this thing. I'm gonna take that bolt out right there where my finger is. Take that out, loosen that up. Alright, I think the head's loose, yeah. I don't even have to pry it up, it's already loose. If it wasn't, I would probably go right here where my finger is. So I'm not prying on the mating surface, pry right next to it. There's a little lip edge right there. You can just get under that and pry up. But you can see, we're loose.
there you go. That's what she looks like with the head off. And there she is out of the car. There's a shot underneath. You can see that the, the head gasket, this is your head gasket, it stayed with it. And the dowel pins stayed in the head also. There they are right there. So those go to the uh, front of the car just like you see. This is the front of the exhaust valves there. Here's your camshaft sprocket right here. And it was hard to show in the car but when you put your number one cylinder up at top dead center properly you'll have the word up right there that'll be pointed straight up and then you can see I got it marked right here so you can see it but there's a little notch right there and another one right there and those notches are perfectly even with the top of the cylinder head so you'll know if you have your uh, your number one at top dead center if all those marks line up. And as you can see this is a D16Y7 engine. And before I put everything back together I cleaned um, the block deck and uh, the manifold mating surfaces. I used a carbide scraper. This one is from Super Scraper and uh, does a good job cleaning up without gouging everything up. Um, very important clean your mating surfaces. Um, I ended up having to replace the uh, catalytic converter slash exhaust manifold. They're all in one unit on this due to the crack. It was cracked all the way through. So I didn't have to clean that because it's getting it brand new. And here's some of the parts I'll be uh, putting on when I uh, put the head back on. Of course we got a head, new head gasket, new intake and exhaust gaskets, a new valve cover uh, gasket seal along with the, uh, this is a kit that has um, all the seals, the spark plug tubes and the bolts, washers. will be replacing the bolts because one is broke and the rest were probably over torqued. Um, new dowel pins for the head, new distributor o-ring, um, new exhaust manifold bolts, you're supposed to replace those or nut, excuse me, whenever you do that. And I know I said I wasn't going to put new head bolts in, but I got new head bolts, so we're putting those in. Well, there you go. That's how I pull the heads off these uh, older Civics. And as always, if you like the video or it helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.